the phone won't stop ringing. So it's just a matter of keeping up at this point. Whether it's last minute, it's like people forget until the day before. Or your Valentine ordered your bouquet weeks ago. Called and said Local florists say that dozen will cost you more this year. It's hard because you don't have to buy flowers. Like, it's, it's, it is a luxury. Inflation is driving up the cost of flowers this holiday. Owner of Garden Party Florist in Stillwater says the cost of fuel and labor disruptions from COVID are to blame. We're keeping our prices within like $5 of last year for the different price points. Um, there may be, you know, one less carnation or something like that that might not, may not be noticeable, but you can still get something for 40. According to the National Retail Federation, flowers will be the third most popular Valentine's gift this year behind candy and greeting cards. Instead of having a bunch of different types of flowers, we have the, the tried and true things to, to make arrangements. The shop is keeping the classic dozen of red roses at the same price, $95. Not wanting to pass it on to you at home, the shop is eating some of that cost and hoping to make it up by filling more orders. You can't increase things so much that it gets in the way of people enjoying. And, and This is the shop's ninth Valentine's, and the owner says flowers have never been this expensive. But the owner says it's not stopping the love. Maybe it's a dozen, not a dozen and a half or two dozen.